The Georgian Weightlifting Championships just took place and anytime we see Lasher compete we've got to take a look because he is the only current weightlifter doing things that no other weightlifter has ever done before. I also want to take a look at some of the other weightlifters from Georgia who will be competing at the World Championships just to see what sort of shape they're in. We're talking Anton Plesnoy, we're talking Revas Davatadze, maybe a couple of others. So this competition is known as the Khaki Cup, named after, of course, three-time Olympic champion Khaki Khakishvili, who was born in Georgia and at one point did compete for Georgia, along with the Soviet Union and Greece, as I'm sure many of you also know. And the way this competition works is that they actually compete in teams and they get points for their teams and then the teams uh, end up getting medals. And obviously Team Tbilisi won. They have uh, Georgi Asenidzi as coach and they have Revas Davatadze, Shota Mishvalidze, Anton Pleznoy, Irakli Chikidze and Lashtek Kalakadze all on their team. So many T's and K's and Z's in there. It's crazy. Um, that sounds quite good. Uh, so let's take a look at some of their lifts now. So the first person to, to look at, and we're actually going to watch the videos of most of these athletes where we have them, but the first person we don't have footage of is from Shota Mishvalidze. Now, he's a 61 kilo lifter, sometimes 62 back in the day. Today, he competed at 67. He ended up going 135, 157, 292. This is a very standard total for him. He tends to flicker around in the 90s, low 90s, occasionally up into the high 90s. I guess he's weighing probably like 63 right now. He just didn't want to cut down because he is at the World Championships at 61. Up now to the 89s, we have Revaz Davatadze, who I've been wanting to see take a gold medal at the World Championships for a long time. Honestly, I don't think it's happening this year again. He's still young, maybe one day he's gonna do it, but we shall see. Let's take a look at his lifts. Okay, so this is 165, and unfortunately for him, unlike uh, most of the others, I don't actually know what his attempt selection was here. This 165 would normally be somewhere in between maybe a first and second, maybe a second attempt with a third and final at 170. So I imagine he probably did take a final lift at 170. I've also often thought, <clears throat> despite the fact that he's built very differently, his snatch, particularly in the in the catch, uh, just there, is very similar to Sarab Maradi. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Up then into the clean jerks, 198 again. Realistically, if you want a medal at Worlds uh, in this category, he's gonna have to be putting up over 70 and over 200. I think realistically we're going to be needing something like a 375 to medal, which, oh, we went off the platform. I guess I counted it. I guess competition platform at Worlds would be a bit bigger than that, to be fair. And he probably didn't want to risk injury bringing him back on, but I don't even know if we're going to see a medal at this Worlds, to be honest with you. Next, let's take a look at Anton Plesnoy, somebody who everybody seems to love the technique of. Fair enough, he does move very well. He moves very interestingly, I think is even more appropriate. He's slightly different. There's not a full extension of the knee, which people find uh, aesthetic at fast speeds and then confusing when the video is slowed down. He competed here at 102. Obviously, at the World Championships, we're going to see him at 96. He snuck a medal as well at the Olympics. Let's take a look at his lifts. Okay, so here it comes out. It's worth mentioning as well, as I'm sure you'll remember, he injured himself at the Olympic Games. He clerked his second attempt, didn't go under it, somehow brought himself out to hit and make that third attempt for a medal. Um, but he was in a lot of pain with his knee, and I think he clearly still is, as we'll see later when he chooses not to split jerk, which I guess loads the knees a little bit more and goes for the power jerk. So here he is at 165 for his opener. This will likely be five kilos below his opener at the World Championships. Uh, maybe even more than five kilos below. He's likely to open up somewhere in the low 70s and push up towards 80 for his third attempt. That was a pretty simple opener for him. And uh, my word, doesn't he move well? To be honest, I think a lot of these athletes, especially Davitadze, Plesnoy and Lasher, I think they opened at their final warm-ups at Worlds. I think they were basically an attempt behind and they were saving an attempt for the major competition. This 170 is much more likely to be his final, his, his opening attempt. Let's take a look. It's just perfect, isn't it? He does have to take a step forward, uh, but my word, he moves so much nicer than most other athletes. Here we go in slow-mo. Beautiful lifting there. And then his third and final attempt at 175 kilos. Interestingly, they 
they, um, I mean, he had to follow himself, and so they bought him some time. They got the the people to to clean the bar to give him a little bit extra rest, as he would get in competition. This likely to be a second attempt. I imagine there's going to be three to four weightlifters snatching this or more come the World Championships, and that's probably a nicer lift than the 70. Certainly, he's got 80 in him. So it's not that I think that his injury is causing him any problems really when he's lifting. I think they're just saving that knee uh, because I think probably in the jerk is where it hurts. His is opener at 195. Again, like I said, this is the sort of lift that he would hit in the back room before coming out at somewhere between 205 and 210 normally. A little bit tougher in the pull to be fair, a little hop forward too. And then as you can see, has to power jerk. Not the nicest power jerk you've ever seen, but I mean, it's a variation of the lift. It might even help him in the long term having done this when he does come to split jerk. Whether he split jerks at Worlds, I don't know. He's certainly someone who could medal if he does split jerk, so we'll see. Okay, so this is Anton's second attempt at 2.03. Uh, this, I mean, even this would be like a light opener. I think really what they're doing is probably going for, I mean, this could well be like a new record in the clean and power jerk or something. Um, but obviously they have to take him lighter seeing as he's power jerking. I knew he missed. I didn't know he missed in the clean. Okay. Um, couldn't get himself under it. Bar not high enough. Stop. Knee hurting. I don't know. I'm That's surprising. We've seen him clean 220 in the past. So this is... I mean, this is like, what, 91%? Um, so it's kind of surprising there. So this is third and final attempt. And it's, it's rare for a lifter to not go under a weight and then come back out and go under it. But he did it in Tokyo, so maybe he'll do it again here. Again, this 203 is, is a weight we've seen him absolutely smoke before in most competitions. That looked much easier. Slightly tougher on the stand-up, but the actual pull-under was great. And he just doesn't have the height in him to power jerk it. You can see he's he's hurting. Yeah, whatever it is in his knee, if it is his knee that's hurting there, looks like it might be. Um, clearly not totally gone, hence the power jerks, but... Wishing the best for recovery and hopefully he'll be split jerking and healthy come Worlds. Okay, it's time to talk about Lasher. I know this is probably why most of you even came here. You probably skipped towards this moment. So I'm going to hijack these views to remind you Black Friday went live just now, like this minute. So go grab yourself some good weightlifting stuff. We've got clothing, we've got equipment, barbells, everything's on sale. We've got products up to over 50% off. Links down below. Okay, so here we go with Lasher. And as I mentioned with... Anton Plesnoy, I'm pretty sure the Georgian team are sort of a lift behind where they plan on being at the World Championships. We saw Plesnoy opening at 65. He'd, he'd normally be opening up at about 70, maybe even 72. Here we go with Lasher. This is 200 kilos. Um, the footage I got of him from the Olympics in the training hall, he hit 200 in the back room. I've seen him hit 200 in the back room multiple times. There we go, 200 on the platform. Let's just rewatch that one more time. He did take a step forward. But also, did you see how high he caught it? I mean, that is ridiculous to start with. It's so quick under, and that's where he meets it. It's very close to a power. A little step forward, but still. And he's looking big, isn't he? I'm sure he's looking heavier than he was um, certainly this time last year. In slow-mo. Yeah, not a problem. I mean, we just saw him do a 210 no-foot, so that should be no problem. And then, of course, he's going to have to follow himself. But he never... I mean, he's used to not having a lot of rest. He said in that documentary with Tarokti that he um, trains with little rest. His 210, this was probably going to be more likely an opener. Again, has to run that out. He's much quicker under. But um, things are a little bit forward. Certainly doesn't look like he's looked in previous international competitions. But, you know, this isn't an international competition. He's probably deep in training. As we've seen, he's been hitting some heavy squats, heavy complexes. Uh, he probably didn't peak for this at all. So this is probably what they knew that he was easily going to be able to make. Uh, they didn't want him missing. They don't want to spook him before Worlds. So they pick these weights. And realistically, what he's going to come out with 215 here. So for him to be able to hit that, not peaked, not trying to miss... That was the one, wasn't it? That was the one. That really was the one. Let's go again. I think he also moved quicker under on that. So fast. Certainly caught it deeper. 
It's also worth bearing in mind the historical significance of 215. Very few weightlifters have done that. Okay, coming out now for, a, again, pretty light opener for Lasher, 240 kilos. So I imagine he's going to pull this ungodly high. Looked all right. Not the best jerk we've seen from Lasher, but 240. So already that puts him at a 255 total, which, sorry, 455, which will be beaten, I'm sure, by potentially both Armenians, potentially even Lovchev too. Uh, but this is Lasher opening light and not having taken all of his attempts yet. Here's 250. This will be the weight that kind of separates the supers. Whether or not Lalian or Gore can hit this, or Lovchev, I don't know. I'm hoping that they all do, because that would be a lot of fun. Here's 250, and that was a way better lift. Yeah, it's just sharper. He just It was like the 215 looked in the snatch. It's like he just switched on, moved quicker, pulled faster. That was a really convincing lift there. Nice, slightly bent arms on the pull. Classic lasher, slightly rounded back on the pull. That's what happens when you're that big. And then back foot, front foot, very nice. So what does this show? I'm not too sure. I think Lash is actually in good shape. I think he's just not really peaked in any way for this competition. But based on his training lifts, I think he's looking good. Whether or not it goes for any world records, I don't know. There are two numbers that I'm pretty sure he wants. There's a 224 snatch because it's a world record. And there's a 267 clean and jerk because that's the all-time clean and jerk world record. It's the one all-time record that he actually doesn't yet have. And at some point, he's going to have to show us that he's capable of it. With that said, 224 add 266, Taranenko is 266, that's 490. So there's a total that we've never seen before. So all in all, I don't know, but I think there are a few numbers there that he's probably eyeing up. With that said, with the pressure from the Armenians, it might be that he just does what he needs to win. We might see a, a 220 and a 258 and that's it. Which, if that is all we see, we've still got to remember that we don't see that, well, we've not seen that from anyone else, ever. So... You know, let's not put too much pressure on the guy. That's the Georgian Championships. I'm out.